Hello, I'm Kevin DeSmet, and I'm a student at Learning Alias. And I want to talk to you about um, Crown today, and what Crown is, and how it can help you with making smooth transitions. So I have the Biker's Gas Tank from the Learning Alias website open here, of this bigger overbuilt surface. So very homogeneous and smooth, which will create good highlights. Now, this is the surface set that we've got to work with for now. This has no crown. Okay, so let's go to surfaces and go to the fillet tool. So basically what we've got is the curvature comb, you've got this arc, and then you've got this arc, which are homogeneous and smooth, which is good, it will create good highlights, but the problem is at the joins with the fillet, it's still a little bit harsh. What we're dealing with is right here. You can see how at the ends of the primary surface, basically where the fillet is going to be, it's already leading into that. And we want to, you know, we can make, make this pretty large. I think that's pretty good. Um, let's try and move it up a little bit. Oh yeah, that's great. Because a lot of this is actually going to get cut away anyway. So basically this is going to be what we're left with or what we will see. Let's tone it down a little bit and then put it up a little bit more. Alright. There, something like that. So I'm just moving it out a little bit. You can see how the color plot is already changing. This has now become sort of pink. And you can see from the legend, pink is more curvature than red. So that's what we want. We want the sides to be pink. So now we're going to slide them, and I want to see this again. Now generally I tend to leave the fillet pretty much at its default. Uh, usually it's not the fillet that's the problem, it's the primary surfaces that don't have enough crown or lead in. Let's put curvature on. Oh yeah, this is much better. See? Also, you can see the difference. Pretty marked. Um, first of all, the fillet itself isn't super huge, which it was on the other end, on the other surface without crown, in order to get this kind of transition. You can also see, because the side doesn't have quite enough crown yet, you can see the difference. Yeah, it's smooth, but it's still got a tough time doing so. Whereas here, you've got this constant arc and then it kind of slowly goes up and into the fillet and that's what crown is all about and you can see it on the other hand as well without the trim you need quite a bit of crown make no mistake about it so nevertheless this surface set is better and if we look at this now with highlights certainly at the top it should be a better transition now you can go back to the video to the other um, to the other surface where I'm also rotating around and uh, then flip back to this uh, this section of the video and I think you'll find the transition is smoother it may seem like a small deal but when you're working on an automotive body or in this case a very voluptuous volume uh, crown can make all the difference in the world and this is a simple example but imagine an automotive body crown really becomes unavoidable. This has been an episode of Kevin's Curvature Den. I am a student at Learning Alias. And remember, crown, it's good to be the king.